The government is everywhere, even in places that seemingly lack any form of government at all. In this video, I will show you different forms of government depicted in different video games. Skyrim. It's a game that has a government much like America's. If you look at the civil war that is going on in the game between the Imperials and the Stormcloaks, you can see that they're fighting to rule the land. And if you fought for the Stormcloaks like I did, then Ulfric Stormcloak will become the leader of the entire land of Skyrim, or a president. And if you look at all of the uh, smaller towns and villages and stuff, kind of like Whiterun, then you can see that they each have their own Jarl, which we can consider as a governor of that area. Skyrim can easily be categorized as a federalist country, with its own economy between bartering and things like this. It has jails, laws, and even leaders, and even dragons. Dragons are federalists, right? On the other side of things, games like Minecraft can be considered to have an anarchist government. Think about it. You're on a server, and you work really hard to build this nice house. When all of a sudden some random guy comes up and burns it down. What happens to him? Jail? Nope. Why? Because there are no laws. So we can go away scot-free. But if you play on single player, you have to deal with all the mobs that decide to attack your shelter. Complete and total anarchy. But at least Minecraft have some form of an economy. You search hard to find some emeralds and then you go to your local village to trade 4 emeralds for 32 cookies. Brilliant. School Tycoon! Or, well, basically, any of the tycoon games. This is, this is my most favorite. Capitalism. Good old money-making capitalism. Because, what can we do without money? Nothing. What can we do with it? Well, we can build schools, of course. I wish my school had a half pipe. Capitalism is when businesses are owned by private companies instead of the government. This is why I chose a tycoon game. I think, think of the person playing the game as the private business owner. What can be said about Command and Conquer? Well, it is a totalitarian government for one. Think about it. You are one person telling ex telling other people exactly what to do, what to build, if they're going to fight or not. You can even delete them if you feel like it. So basically, the player is a monarch who has total control over his people. If you liked this video, go ahead and leave a like, check out some of my other videos, and maybe subscribe to me. If you want to see more videos like this, then go ahead and tell me down in the comment section.